Welcome back everyone to the channel. In this session, I will be explaining you how you can create Power Canvas app using CDS as in backend. So to start with, I have opened make.powerapps.com and I am on the home page. So you can directly choose uh, start from data as CDS. So in my previous session, I have been explaining you about how you can create Power Canvas app using SharePoint uh, majorly as a backend as well as with Excel file but this time I would be using CDS so when I selected CDS it started showing me few tables so you can see these are default tables which I get and how how and uh, why I'm getting these tables I can show you that I'm just going to back to my power app and you can see under data there are some some options called entities so if I click on entities so these are basically objects which uh, are out of the box gets provision with the uh, uh, power apps so you can create your custom entities as well so the concept is same as uh, when we in a traditional uh, application when we create uh, data entities so these are same one so if I click on new entity it will give you options to create all the, uh, uh, the the metadata for this entity and afterwards you can add the columns or the uh, the fields with these entities so for demonstration I'll just pick uh, my existing entity that is meeting room so you can see a few of the fields are auto provision over here and uh, a few of them are customly created by me for example location meeting room these are uh, created by me and there are few other tabs which is related to relationship where you can define the relationship with the entities business rule you can define the business rules for example uh, <coughs> for this meeting room the capacity cannot be more than 10 people so those sort of uh, business rules you can define these are views you can create your own view what field should be shown on the on the entity view page and under the forms by default we have three forms so majorly the, when we create uh, model driven apps these forms get provisioned automatically and with canvas app as well we can uh, utilize these ones I'll show you in a while and other uh, dashboard if you would like to create any dashboard so I'm just leaving uh, these two three for now just going to the data one so in data we can just put the data manually by using this add record or we can import from a data Excel as well and you can use the get, get data to connect uh, to different sources as well so this is an entity, this is an overview of entity. So for my this example, I have two entities. That is, one is meeting room, so which is the list of meeting rooms, and other entity is uh, book room. So book room means like it will contain the transitional data. I mean, uh, whenever a person is booking the room, the entry will go over here, and this book room would be having a relationship with meeting room, my uh, entity which we, which uh, we just saw. So this meeting room is get the, is a many to one relationship with this book room, and uh, if I go to the data, I have already created few uh, uh, meeting data. <coughs> so now uh, let's go back to the Power Apps. So I am choosing this meeting room table or entity to start with. I'm clicking on it and connect. Okay, so by default I got this first screen which is having a gallery control and showing my this uh, list of meeting rooms. So I'll just uh, resize this gallery so that I can have other gallery as well uh, which I would like to have for the book, uh, book rooms uh, entity. So before that I'll just add, uh, go to my data source and add book room as an data source as well so that I can work with it so as I said I'll be showing you the relationship between these uh, meeting room when a person clicks on meeting room it will find all the details of uh, the meetings which are book booked for this room so I'll just uh, go to my screen back and insert one gallery component so this is a new gallery I'll connect this gallery to my book rooms and I'll change the layout to remove the images so that it can the titles can be visible properly so now we have it I'm just uh, aligning it to the actual gallery so now we are good so 
this these are master rooms uh, gallery and on click of it i would like to show the related uh, meetings for that meeting room so how to do that for that i need to just uh, go to my newly added uh, gallery i'm just selecting that con control okay so under the items i'll use filter filter book room entity based on my meeting room entity dot name which is a meeting room name yep which is equal to the item which are which is selected in the first gallery so I'm just uh, using the first gallery name which is a browse gallery one dot selected dot name so this is how we can make a relationship between these two galleries so I'll just play that out so by default uh, the first meeting room is selected if I click on second one okay so it's showing me details so because I have not updated the on select the uh, action for for my first gallery so I need to go back and select the arrow on select is saying parent so I'll what I'll do I'll just uh, uh, update one context for a variable not here update context and show uh, gallery 2 let's say true right so in this gallery to the visibility I'll set with that variable we just created show gallery to so now by default it will not show anything if I click on it it starts showing me the data related to uh, the respective meeting room so if I click on this one this one is working well so how to see the detail of the uh, selected meeting so for that uh, we need to drop the form from from this uh, insert ribbon I'll drop a display form over here and simply I'll just align this form just beneath of the screen okay so now I'm connecting it to book rooms and what fields I would like to have I can just click on edit fields and then add fields which I need to display so let's say booking and date start date time so I'm just clicking add so this by default uh, this view has started showing me the fields which are there but how to make a connection between these two so I'll uh, I have just selected my form and I'll just go to item what item it should be should uh, show that is my gallery dot selected so the item which is selected in my gallery it will start showing the data related to it so I'm running it so if I select uh, the, the meeting room it will start showing me the meeting if I click on it it will sh start showing me the details for it so in a very quick time we created almost uh, uh, a visible uh, actions for our meeting room and the details uh, for this meeting room so it's a pretty quick application we developed so far so I'm just saving it it's a let's say it's a C A M app so now you can start sharing this app with your within your organization but before that as we have used a uh, CDS uh, uh, for 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 this backend so we have to define like what uh, who all can have what respective rights on these entities book room or this meeting rooms so how to do that so for that to provide the permissions on the CDS these entities we have to go to the advanced settings I just clicked on the advanced settings so it uh, opened this dynamics.com and you can see there is a setting button so under the setting 
the all the options comes out and we are concerned about the security section so under the system it listed that security if I click on security it started showing me the users teams of, of, of whom I, I can manage so users are the users which are allowed to uh, I mean like all the organization user or the respective users and the security rules we can define the rules uh, what uh, a specific role can do what so there, there are few uh, default roles which are already there. So you can see approval administrator, approval user, common data uh, service user. So by default, all the organization uh, members can see the default uh, entities uh, which are there in the CDS. But uh, for custom one, we have to allow the permission. So I'm just clicking on my this CDS service user role. And it uh, prompted me one pop-up. So in this pop-up, I can see the record service, the business management. So and we are concerned about this custom, custom entity to provide the service, provide the rights. So I can just scroll down and find out uh, where are where, where are where is my custom entities are. So this meeting was my custom entity. So I can uh, these these round circles actually belongs to the what level of permission they need create, read, write. So you can simply scroll down again and find the respective entity where is that meeting room so it, based on it you can define like uh, what a level of uh, they can you all the uh, cds users can create meeting rooms can update can read write so for time being i'm just uh, i mean assigning all the permissions to my organization users the cds users so i am just saving it save and close so it will update the, the cds role so now we are good so one once you share the link of of your power app and provide the permissions over the entities under the cds then you will be all set all the users uh, the respective users uh, would start able to use your app so in this quick uh, 15 minutes uh, you would be ready with your this canvas app with our cds so i hope uh, this could be useful for you if you like and sub uh, like the video please subscribe and do also drop a comment thank you